Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's talk about the problem 23 in chapter 3. In this one, this is a calculation um, about the vector and the displacement. Let's see. They tell us there is an object. We can consider this an object. It moves along x direction, a distance 10 cm in 2 seconds. So first the coordinate, 10 cm in 2 seconds. And then it turns left 30 degree and walks in a straight line. Another 10 cm in 1.8 seconds. So let's say this is 10 cm, 10 cm, right? And then it turns another 17 degree to left and walks another 10 cm. So we can see first part 10 cm and then turn left. 30 degree, 10 centimeter, and then turn left, 17 degree, another 10 centimeter. So we can see from this one, this is vector one, vector two, vector three, and then we need to add these three vector together. The most easy way is to just project the vectors in x component and the y component. You agree? So this is x component and the y component. So we can see the first vector is 10 cm in x direction, so very easy, turn i. The second one, we, the second vector we need to project in the x com component and the y component. We can see this one, x component, y component. So x component is the 10 times cosine theta, 10 times cosine theta, this length. 10 times sine theta, this length. Agree? No power. So then we get the second vector in two components. The next one, we need to project this vector in two components. And we know it's 10, but what's the angle from the x direction? We can say this is the 30. No problem, right? This is 30 degree. The 30 and this 2 is angle is equal. And this is 70. So from the x to the vector is 100. So then we can say this is v times cosine theta, i component, v times sine theta, j component. Finally, we get the displacement from the initial to the final in the i and j component, right in this way. Now, uh, we need to find the average velocity. So the average velocity, average velocity is the displacement divided by time taking. And displacement, we get it. This one, we need to find the time taking. Very easy. The first part, two seconds. Second part, 1.8 second. The third part 1.55 second. So add them together is total time taking. Then we can get the average velocity. Displacement divided by time taking. And this average velocity is in two components, I component and J component. This one asks to find magnitude and direction. So simple. Just find the magnitude and the direction for a vector, right? So the so this is i component square plus j component square squared. And angle theta is arctangent vy divided by vx. Thank you.